Stupid boy. Captain Mannering, the stiff upper lipped self appointed captain. He's also the bank manager and on the town's committee board. Mannering is played by Arthur Lowe, who started as a stage actor before going on to spend seven years in Coronation Street. In 1950, he married Joan Cooper, who gave up her acting to support Arthur and their son Stephen. They also restored the steam yacht Amazon using original drawings from Greenwich, often hosting parties on board. As an actor, Arthur Lowe took his work very seriously and wouldn't do scenes like going trouserless. Instead, he preferred to use slapstick or facial expressions. He was, however, a very difficult actor to work with, often not taking the scripts home. Straight away, the impression one gets of Mannering is that he's trying to prove he can lead. In Museum Peace, he tries to requisition weapons from a museum and in Operation Kilt struggles with time and a simple PT exercise, the basics in the army. In Battle School from Season 3, Paul Mannering can't even read a map, leading to the platoon aimlessly marching around the countryside. At the end of the series, they get lost again in Sons of the Sea whilst training for potential river patrols. Throughout the show, Mannering tries to turn his troops into frontline soldiers, equal to the regular army. To do this, he takes them on feet hardening exercises and carrying telegraph poles, even though some of them are clearly not up to it. Mannering is also keen on lectures, whether it be on various camouflages or gases the Germans could potentially use. He even tries to lecture Wilson on cricket, even though Wilson is already on the town's cricket team. All of Mannering's misfortunes come to a head in Battle of the Giants. A battalion order is given out for Home Guard members to wear their service medals for an upcoming parade. It is then the platoon discover that their captain hasn't got any medals. He tries to bluff his way out of it, but it backfires thanks to Pike. Despite his shortcomings and lack of medals, Mannering is a true professional officer. He disapproves of the chef in battle school and holds a court of inquiry over missing ammunition in the bullet is not for firing. He is, however, prepared to risk life and limb for his platoon. After letting them down in Fallen Idol, Mannering rescues a live hand grenade from Jones's van before it blows up, taking a substation with it. Another word to describe Mannering is grafter. Coming from a grammar school, he's had to work hard to become a bank manager. Contrast that to his chief clerk Wilson, who had a public school upbringing and is much more relaxed. When Wilson gets a promotion in A Wilson Manager, Mannering is furious at his chief clerk. He's even more cross when Wilson becomes honourable. Once again, Wilson gets privileges, leaving Mannering out in the cold. <laughs> I've been trying for years to get in there. <laughs> I believe they're awfully particular. <laughs> Being the bank manager and commander of the Home Guard, Mannering seems to think he has some sort of authority over others. In the very first episode, it goes to his head and he duly self-appoints himself as captain in the LDV. In War Dance, he questions Pike's partner, claiming... Oh, no. Wrong sort of background altogether. The bank doesn't like that sort of thing, you know. In The King Was In His Counting House, Mannering claims that his father was a master tailor and kept horses. Although, as Jones reveals... Listen, I've known Eastbourne for 50 years. His father never had a posh tailor shop on the parade. He had a poky little draper shop up a side street. And he got all old workman's trousers hanging up. And my brother bought a pair and the gusset fell out. <laughs> he also tries to bring this authority to the home guard. When the platoon are given a 13-pounder field gun, he demands the bandstand in the park be removed. He buys himself an officer's overcoat and puts the church and the town council behind the home guard in the royal train. The only time his authority makes sense is in a man of action, when, after a direct hit on the railway line, cutting off supplies, Mannering puts the town under martial law. 
When discussing Mannering, a lot of people refer to his social status compared to Wilson or his rivalry with Hodges. However, something that does get overlooked is his relationship with Captain Square. Square, played by Geoffrey Lumsden, is a former colonel who served with Lawrence of Arabia. His relationship with Mannering goes back to the third episode, Command Decision, when Square tries to take over the platoon in exchange for rifles, which turn out to be musket-loading carbines. Square eventually takes command of the Eastgate platoon after trying to teach the Warmington-on-Sea platoon the art of guerrilla warfare. His next major appearance is in Fallen Idol, where he misleads Mannering into setting up a separate headquarters and drinking in the officer's mess. After a Sunday service, this rivalry boils over in the Red Lion, leading to the platoons undergoing a series of trials to see who is best. Another notable appearance was as the judge in Mannering's trial in A Brush with the Law. His last appearance was in Wake Up Warmington from Season 9. Despite his stiff upper lip, Mannering can get upset or struggle socially. We first see this in Room at the Bottom, where he's placed in a deep shock after discovering that he has no commission over the platoon, but in true Mannering fashion, rejoins as a private. He also cares for his men outside of the home guard. When Godfrey's cottage is threatened with demolition, Mannering can't bear to tell him. Despite his well-known catchphrase, he does apologise to Pike on two occasions. And I'm not a stupid boy, am I? No, 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 I'm very sorry about that, uh, Pike. I'm not such a stupid boy after all, am I, Mr Mannering? No. Oh, I'm sorry, Pike. Jones receives the most help, twice over money in When Did You Last See Your Money and High Finance, and with Mrs Fox in The Godiva Affair, who he agrees to give away in Never Too Old. Throughout Dad's army, Mannering's biggest secret is his wife, as referenced in War Dance from Season 3. Mrs Mannering won't be joining us this evening. Oh, I, I hope she's not poorly or anything of that fashion. I'd rather not go into it if you don't mind, Jones. No, so right, right, right. I'll just greet the guests alone. A regular occurrence was her phoning up Mannering, asking him to come home for whatever reason. She sleeps in the Anderson shelter most nights, and she seems to be a very controlling woman. Occasionally, she and Mannering do have the odd argument, as in the Godiva affair. Yeah, I know that you have more ample proportions than Mrs. Fox. <laughs> but you're not Lady Godiva, are you? Hello, hello, hello? But Mannering does care for her, even trying to buy her an orange in the love of three oranges. We only ever see Mrs. Mannering once, typically sleeping in the Anderson shelter on the top bunk in a soldier's farewell. Mannering's relationship with his wife, however, is put to the test in the season 4 episode, Mum's Army. Whilst recruiting female volunteers, he meets Mrs. Grey, who's moved to Warmington from London. Throughout the episode, Mannering develops a fondness for her, being unbiased on parade and having regular meetings. This put a huge strain on both of them, forcing Mrs. Grey to return to London, leaving Mannering somewhat heartbroken. Another secret is his brother Barry. Barry appears in the Christmas special, My Brother and I. A drunk, he's the complete opposite to Mannering, and after a dispute over their dad's pocket watch, Mannering kindly hands over the watch to Barry. These secrets suit Arthur Lowe very well, as he was a very private man who disliked the limelight. After Dad's army, he continued to do stage work, passing away in the dressing room at the Alexandra Theatre in Birmingham in 1982. So that was Captain Mannering. Hope you've all enjoyed the video, and don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and follow me on Facebook. Link down below. Next up, we'll look at Mannering's right-hand man, Sergeant Wilson. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all on parade.